I just finished the escort run with the Talane. I'm coming in for some repairs and retrofits. Those CMI mercs really did a number on my paint job. Understood, Logan. We've logged the completion credits into your account. Please refer to the job board for new contracts upon your return. Yeah, yeah. No rest for the weary, huh, Dilly? Welcome to Europa Starbase. You are clear for docking. Well, that's my life. One job after another. I was looking out for the big money, the big break that'll set me up for life. As long as the Corpers have somebody to fight, they'll always need guys like me. Now performing personnel scan. Welcome, Mr. Logan. Tachyon News Service rated number one. Corporate disciplinary hearings for PPS and Oberon. The Tachyon News Service is proud to announce that for the tenth straight year, we have been voted the number one source of news in the galaxy. Independent research gives us an 86% accuracy rating for our stories, making us the most reliable source for information that has ever existed. Audiences praised our proprietary smart headline technology, a feature that highlights the stories that are personally most important to them. At Tachyon News Service, we deliver the news faster than the speed of light, literally. Star Patrol confirmed today that a major police action transpired just outside Mars orbit after their sensors registered a large-scale exchange of fire between ships operated by Phobos proprietary systems and Oberon Incorporated. Struggle between these organizations began several years ago when Bernard Station 147 announced its intent to pursue a trade contract with Oberon despite long-standing allegiance to Phobos proprietary systems. Commander Erwin Korsher of the Star Patrol issued the following statement. We cannot permit private conflicts between corporations to threaten centers of peaceful commerce. This is the sort of behavior we would expect in a fringe, and it will not be tolerated in Seoul space. The case has already gone to the High Tribunal of the Seven Planet Accord, and legal experts estimate the cumulative fines may total in excess of 2.1 trillion credits.